So Devi, what is the uh, benefit of eating red rice? How is the red rice different from white rice? And for someone who is used to white rice, uh, how can they shift to red rice? How long does it take to shift to red rice? So red rice and white rice are two different kinds of rice. So you have the paddy, which is a grain. And from there, once you take it out unpolished, as we call it, you get the rice with the bran. So red rice has red bran. And most white rice varieties will have brown bran, which means that originally all your white rices were brown rices. It's a polished brown rice which becomes white rice. Where red rice, where even when it is polished, it will have a pinkish hue. It never becomes fully white. So remember that your white rice was began its life as a brown rice. And the more polished it is, it becomes whiter and whiter. Your red rice starts with red bran. And the more you polish it, it just becomes pinker and pinker. It never becomes pure white. So that is the structural difference. So when it comes to white rice, which is fully polished that you get in the market, it is pure starch because all the bran has been removed. Red rice that you get, either you can get semi-polished or unpolished. The semi-polished will have part of the bran that can range from 15% up to 80%. And you can have fully unpolished, which is 100% bran. So why would you have red rice if you're not had? It has got great benefits, you know, good for it has fiber and it has minerals because the bran is there and it uh, nutrient profile is better, satiation is better, therefore portion control is achieved. So all these benefits are derived from eating red rice. The second thing is even in red rice, you don't have to go the extreme, you know, extent of eating unpolished rice, which might be hard for you to have initially if you're not used to it. And if you look at it, you have different grades and Biobasics particularly makes it a point to make red rice available with different levels of bran. So what we do is instead of having a single variety at various levels of bran, we try to have different varieties at different levels of bran so that you can have a choice and you can pick it up depending on what your requirement is and what is it that will suit you. Because there are people who have eaten only white rice who struggle with eating red rice. They may feel indigestion, they may find bloating. There are two reasons for this. One, most people make the mistake of undercooking red rice. It has to be cooked well. So that is very important. So if you have not cooked it well, you might find it difficult to digest and you might find yourself uncomfortable after eating it. Second is you are not used to the bran at all since you have been used to only polished rice. In which case, what you do is you start with the less bran red rices. So in our case, for instance, we carry Uma raw rice, which is a red rice with about 15 to 20% of bran. It's kind of pink. And Rajamudi, it's a very light red rice, which has mixed white and red grains. So we recommend these two as what we call starter red rices. And then we have the Kerala Mata. So if you're looking at a boiled red rice, we have the Kerala Mata, which is about 30% bran. Same with Tondi. Tondi, in fact, has less bran than Kerala Mata. So even though it is a bigger grain red rice, it has less bran. So you progressively move from rice with less bran to more bran to get your body acclimatized or comfortable with eating red rice. The other thing that you do uh, to get into red rice is you use red rice in other forms. So we have, you know, the pohas or owls from red rices. We have three or four of them with different levels of thickness. So that can become a part of your diet. It can be a replacement for oats or muesli or whatever. We have the red rice flour. So you can start making your uh, tiffin items. Like if it's a South Indian thing, be it uh, an idia palm or a putta or your kolkata with the red rice flour. Another option is to your regular idli dosa batter, start adding a portion of red rice. There you can also add the intense unpolished red rice. So for that, we have something called kulakar, which is a nice idli rice. So even with kulakar alone, you can get red idlis. And slowly your body gets used to the red idlis and then maybe you can try a red rice. Definitely worth trying, uh, I would say, because maybe I am biased. Because if you ask me between red and white, I definitely have to eat red on most days. But Having said that, I would eat the semi-polished on a daily basis.